Hey there, it's Michelle. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to be making this lovely card today. It's three different shades of blue with a beautiful tree in the center. You could write thank you on there or happy birthday, whatever you would like. We're going to start out with a soft sky cardstock and it's cut to an A2 size. And then we're going to be using Marina Mist. It's cut at one and a half by five and a half inches. And then a third color of blue is Tempting Turquoise, and that is one inch by five and a half inches. And we're going to be using these stamp sets, Tin of Tags, Hang Your Stocking, and the Frosted Medallions, and of course the Christmas Pines that has our sentiment that we're going to use, and the tree from Lovely as a Tree. And I'm going to be using lots of labels framelits. I'm using the second largest from that to cut the tree out. And here's our card base. I'm just making sure it's folded. It's soft sky and we're going to use soft sky ink. And all those stamp sets, um, I just used that many of them just because I was trying to find different sizes of snowflakes. You'll see there's a snowflake here from one, two from another. And I'm just trying to vary them on the card stock there on the front of the card. So they're just kind of going all over the place. Just twirl the card. Add a little more. Here's another one. And then I kind of run out of big ones. The stamps there, I kind of run out of snowflakes. So I'm going to have to add another one. My hands disappear up into the top of the screen there because I'm using a what's called a stamp and scrub it's a cleaner to clean my stamps yeah see there's my spot now I'm going to add another stamp set it's from Holly Jolly Greetings and I'm just going to use the big the big one there that huge snowflake it's so pretty but we're only going to use the edges of it and I just managed to fit it on there twice but it just looked different than the other ones I didn't want too many of the same one I didn't space them out I guess as I should have. And now we're going to stamp with Old Olive ink. I'm going to stamp that beautiful tree. And that doesn't have to be in the center, but I just want to make sure I have enough room to cut it out with that label framelit. Okay, and we'll set that aside. Now I'm going to stamp the sentiment and we're going to be embossing that. So I'm going to use the embossing buddy and Versamark, the embossing buddy just gets the paper ready so there's no static on it or oils so your powder doesn't stick where you don't want it to. The ink is very sticky but it will also stick if there's any moisture on the paper whatsoever. And we'll heat that up with the heat tool to melt the powder. And now we're going to come back with the aqua painter and now we're going to add a little bit of water to the ink that's already on the paper. You just squeeze that little aqua painter and the water comes out, but you have to be careful that you don't overdo it because then you'll have ink running places you don't want it to. So we're just very delicately squeezing it, getting a little water out, and then you just have a napkin when you need to change colors or take away some of the water if you've got too much. And now I'm going to add some Old Olive again. That's the same color I stamped it in to get a little more color, fill it in a little more. That stamp has such tiny, tiny little pine needles on it. It's just amazing that they're, you know, that it's all still there. The pine needles, you can see all of them. And now I'm going to add another green called Wild Wasabi. And the same thing, I clean my little aqua painter off, get the paintbrush clean, squirt a little water out and pick up some more of that ink. And now I'm just moving it around on there to get a little more dimension and to give it a little slight variation in color here and there. There, get it just so. I'll go back in and put a couple more spots in. Okay, and then clean the brush. And now we're going to paint with soft suede, just down 
the trunk there and then a little on the ground and you see you can just squish those uh, stamp pads and it presses the ink pad onto the lid and that's how you can get it to where you know you can have just a tiny bit to use because you can't really get it off the, paint, the pad itself you have to squeeze a little bit of the ink off of it now I'm just trying to get it to lay flat because this is just regular paper this isn't watercolor paper and I've got the second to the biggest of that and we're going to put it in between the two plates on top of the magnetic platform run it through and that purplish paper I just flipped over that's actually fun foam and it has an adhesive on the back so that's why I'm cutting it from the back side because the adhesive doesn't seem to cut when I put it the other way when I put it on the other side cut from the other side now you just peel it back just a little bit so you can get it so you know because it's very sticky I don't want it to be crooked on there and peel that back rub it on make sure it's all stuck down and now I've decided that I need I need some snow on my tree so I had to get my glasses on to see those little branches and get the glue going on there and that glue does come out very quickly it's the fine tip glue pen it's very watery glue and it comes out pretty fast you have to be careful you don't squeeze too hard unlike the multi matte medium that does not come out as fast now I'm putting a little on the ground there like little squiggly lines sort of on the ground so I can add the dazzling diamonds glitter onto it get that loaded up and put it back there we go this dazzling diamonds is so beautiful now I'm looking to see if I like the size of that I hate to cover up the tree that's what I keep thinking so I'm actually you don't see me do it but I cut down those strips there just a slight probably quarter of an inch so they can you can see the tree more and now I'm putting or selecting some sequins I was trying to figure out here if I wanted them to be bulbs on the tree or what I wanted to do with them so I was picking out a blue of course to try to go with the blue of the card and decided I didn't really like that so a little later here you'll see I'll just put them off to the side All right now we're putting the card together there's the wider of the two strips checking to see if the trees dry and it's not so, so I can use a little bit of the heat gun you have to be very careful with that fun foam with the heat gun it'll melt your paper well actually the foam it's not a paper it'll melt it and I've got the tear and tape can't say that one very quickly and yeah I like to use a lot of that because it was well it was kind of warping a little so I kind of went a little overboard with the tape but I just didn't want it to warp and that was another reason why I didn't use uh, the, the dimensionals because it needed more contact with something thicker to keep the warping down and I'm trying to get that backing paper off and you can't believe but that is actually double time speed or four times the speed it took me a while to get the backing off some of it my fingernails are getting a little short I guess and now we'll center that on the card there we go fits on there just perfect and then that piece goes on top and I try to put the dimensionals and I see they're not thick enough so instead of using several of those I'm just going to use another small pieces of the foam and you can see you can mark it with your fingernail you just press down and you can make a mark on the foam and so I'll stick that down on both sides again with the tear and tape and of course the other side is got adhesive on it anyway there you can see I did that now I'm tearing off the backing paper off the tear and tape and set it right on top there try to center it and there we go and now I'm looking at the bulbs again and I really don't like that so we're gonna take the fine tip glue pen again 
put three little dots and using that we are memory keepers quick stick it has a little bit of sticky on the end it really helps to pick those up the little sequins and then the other end you can adjust them because that glue is still wet so I can get them right where I want them and then just let it air dry and all oh, that card is so beautiful with all that glitter and now I've decided there's not enough <laughs> just put a little bit of snow since there's so many snowflakes all over the background there I'm putting little teeny tiny dots and now I'm going to put some more glitter to get some snow so it looks like it's snowing with the And yeah, with the glitter there. I still can't believe how beautiful that tree is. It, you just, you know, you'd have to see it in person to be able to believe that there's such tiny little intricate. And thank you for watching. Stop by again soon. Please subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks.